morning, folks. Old Diego again. This time, back in Las Vegas. Henderson, to be exact, on the uh, south east side of Vegas. And I'm back in the uh, burned out castle warehouse that belongs to my brother, Ray, Ray Wold. And uh, this is after the EPA cleanup and everything. So to, today is January the 8th, 2022. I'm over here working with uh, Sean and uh, take a look around at the castle. What a mess. Big old mess, right, Sean? Ah. This is the whole area that burned. These are nice big old rooms, all burned out. Okay. You saw what it looked like before. This is, uh, they did a pretty good job though. The EPA cleaned it up pretty good. Okay. And uh, I think my brother's just gonna leave it open like this. Turn it into like a castle, some kind of a entertainment uh, center for his uh, movies and videos and whatnot. Sean's over there cleaning up. And uh, take a look at everything. Take a look around, folks. Getting back to survival. Uh, what I, what my point is, folks, is you got to be ready for whatever could happen. But believe me, in the next 50 years, something major is going to happen. It's inevitable. So, you know, human beings have always gone to war. We've always been fighting with each other doesn't mean just because we all have nuclear weapons now that we're, there's not gonna be more fighting. It's, you know, somebody is gonna break the pact and be the first to strike. Uh, we don't know when, we don't know where, you know, you just gotta be ready. And so, to my point, I still think San Diego and Southern California is a prime targets. It's a death trap down there. All of Southern California, between the ocean and the mountains, the mountains border, you know, on the north side, the east side, the ocean on the west side, it all comes down to Mexico. And if something happens, you gotta be able to get across that uh, border. You know, the the highways and roads going out east to the desert, mountains in the desert are all going to be plugged up. There's going to be no way out. And so uh, you either got to have a boat ready to go, that an ocean going boat that can get out in the ocean. You know, you, you want to be at least uh, 50 miles away from Southern California if something happens. And uh, I still think Mexico is the best route. That's why by living in Mexico, spending 95% of my time down there, I'm 95% better off than most people uh, that are trapped in Southern California. You know, and by having a bug out plan, bug out vehicle all ready to go, I'm 99.9% .9 better off than most people. The only people better off are the people already living in the interior of Mexico and uh, some of Central America and South America. But don't forget that the Panama Canal is a major target also. So you gotta be, you know, somewhere in between the Panama Canal and San Diego, California. So that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. I've 
got to get going in my little, uh, find a little fishing village that's perfect to live in, get to know the people, start going out fishing, develop some good rapport. All that has to be done. Uh, you know, hopefully before anything bad happens. But like I already told you, China has said if the United States tries messing and interfering with what they want to do to Taiwan, we had better be ready for unbearable consequences. Unbearable consequences to me means some kind of a strike first nuclear attack. I hate to say it, but that's what it means. And they've got the weapons, they don't care, they're ready to use them. And we, we've got to be ready to deal with it. You know, I still believe that the, uh, there's going to be a buildup, just like everything else. There'll be warning signs, there'll be a buildup, there'll be, you know, maybe some conventional exchanges. But there'll be like a warning that this is it. You know, get out now. And at that point, people are going to start to panic and they won't be able to get out. Believe me, they won't, they won't be able to get out of Southern California at that point. The food and water will dry up and then all hell is going to break loose. Uh, you wouldn't want to be there. You don't want to be in Southern California when the shit hits the fan. No. Where do you want to be? In Laredo, Mexico, in the middle of Baja, somewhere. Fishing, on a beach, with a Corona beer, whatever, and listening to your radio. Uh, and be ready, you know, one or two limited uh, exchanges, tick for tack. You know, you want to, you do want to have your supplies ready too. You know, uh, some, maybe even some kind of a radiation uh, mask or outfit or something, because there there might be uh, radiation uh, get get everywhere, go everywhere in the air, in the wind, in the air, as it travels around the earth. But it's not going to be as bad as the uh, point of impact area. You know. <laughs> 30 to 50 miles around San Diego is not going to be good. So, I've got a lot of work to do on my bug out plan, but at least I'm sort of getting ready, which is better than I can say about most people. Kids, grandkids start listening up. Grandpa Rick is, if your grandpa Rick can do it, you can do it. Get on that old fat man's wetsuit. Get my spear gun. I'm gonna get me a fish eventually. I've got to get done with uh, Las Vegas here, though. Helping my brother with security out here. That's all that's left. There's bare walls. There's no wiring. Hardly any infrastructure here. He's got to start over. Get even the electrical. Let's take a look at what Sean's doing here as we close. Uh, getting off the rest of that old roof up there. Anything that could fall down and hurt somebody. Uh, good job, Shawnee. Anything that looks like it could fall down and hurt somebody. There you go. That's it. That would have hurt me right there. That would have hurt me. That would have killed me, probably. So, good job, yeah. How's up there on top of that tower? Can you get up there and uh, shoot your bow and arrow at somebody? Yeah. <laughs> is there like a little platform? Okay. I was just wondering. I might have to get up there and with my old Betsy and guard this place. But there's nothing left to steal, really. You know. <laughs> Little pigeon squabblings. Okay, good job, Sean. So, folks, this is uh, Walt Diego in Las Vegas, Nevada.
Telling you, have a good day, have a good life, and then over and out for now. All right, folks, we'll see you next time with some more good news, hopefully.